All right, guys, we're doing the daily workout. This is August. The self-defense move we're working on is called the killer punch defense. All right, check this out. The first part of our daily workout is the open triangle footwork. So what we've done is created an equilateral triangle on the floor. We use just painter's tape so we can peel it off really easily. An open triangle is when you just have you know, two of the sides of the triangle. Open triangle goes like this. You got both feet on the point. Your right foot goes out to the right, and then it comes back. Your left foot goes out to the left, and then it comes back. So as you get good at it, you're just bending that knee, and you're just getting this footwork. And it's almost like a lunge, but it's not really a lunge. Okay, so let's hold on to that for a second. Okay, next challenge. You've got to practice your one, for one minute, you've got to practice your punching combo. And then what we're doing is cross, hook, cross. So when you do that punching combo, we could do it in the air, you could do it as like a sparring partner, it's kind of like go back and forth with a partner. Somebody can be holding targets or we can hit a wave master. So tonight I think I'm just gonna bust it out on the wave master. Then you got three more rounds. The first one is how many push-ups can you do in 30 seconds? Next round is how many sit-ups can you do in 30 seconds? And the third one is how many touch the ground, touch the skies, you can do in 30 seconds. But that is like so easy, okay? So let me just show you these three techniques really quick. And as soon as I show you the really simple way to do each one, to do it the right way, then me and you could do the workout together. All right, so let's go. All right, so when we do push-ups, there are three things to remember. Number one, the only thing allowed to touch the ground is your hands, your toes, and your nose. Then, when you do a push-up, the only body part that bends is your arm. That's the only thing that should move. Last, remember that a push-up isn't a go down. In order to do a push-up, you have your hands spread out this far apart, your feet are based like that, you bend your elbows, you go down, and then this is the push-up part where you thrust up like that. So without going down, there is no push up. So remember, going down starts it and coming up. Now there's three levels to this too. There's three levels. So the first one is when you just kind of like go down one inch and you just practice. If you're able to do that, cool. Do that as many times as you can. But then always try to get to the next level. And the next level is when you go halfway. So what I'm looking for is those elbows are getting to the 90 degree angle, right? That's halfway. Last one, you touch your nose or your chin or your chest to the ground, okay? So we go all the way down touch our chest and come up. That means your belly and your knees do not touch the ground. All right team, we're gonna do sit-ups now. With our sit-ups, it's super easy. All you have to do is get into position and use your arms to whoosh you up and then you high-five the top of your feet. So we're in position like this. I got my hands by my ears. I lay on my back. I whoosh my arms up and touch my feet. If you have to grab your legs to help you up or whatever in the beginning, that's okay. If you have to like use your elbows to come up in the beginning, that's okay. But we gotta train to not do it like that. We wanna be able to whoosh and smack. All right, last one is touch the ground, touch the sky. And it's that simple. So you have your feet spread out about shoulder width apart, a little wider. You're gonna touch the ground with your fingertips, but keep your head up. You don't wanna look down or bow because it's gonna throw off your balance. Then you're gonna stretch your legs, bring your arms up, and jump like you're dunking a basketball. So let's do a couple of them. You're gonna to touch the ground, touch the sky. 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 That's how it goes, all right? Let's do touch the ground, touch the sky during our daily workout. All right, team, so what you guys need is if you have gloves, if you're gonna punch a pad, you should use gloves. And the other thing you need is a timer. So I'm gonna grab my iPad for the timer because it's got a really big screen that I can just you know, stay on top of it. And then when I go from one activity, I rest for as long as I need to. Like, you know, if it's a 30 second activity, I would rest for like 30 seconds, but no more than a minute because you actually want to have like a lot of effort. It should be challenging. And as you get better, you push yourself to do like more push-ups or less time to rest. That way you can actually get a harder workout. As you get better, you're gonna need more of a challenge. All right, so let me get all that stuff together and I'll meet you guys right over there by those taped triangles so we could bust out the daily workout there. I'm not gonna bore you with 30 seconds of them, but I will tell you how many I got.